Hi, I'm Dr Ross O'Shea and I'm the course coordinator for the Bachelor of Science degree at La Trobe University. The skills you gain in this flexible degree are applicable to a wide range of science-based careers. Skills like critical thinking, problem solving, data handling and hands-on experience are valued by many employers. And our graduates work in industries in including agriculture, medical research, education and government. The La Trobe Bachelor of Science offers a flexible major structure and you'll hear from course advisors for these majors in a moment. Many of the majors share core subjects in year one and two, so the choices you make at the start can allow you to change your focus or your major in year two. There's also space for other subjects, electives, in each year of this degree, so you can choose subjects from other areas including non-science subjects. You can focus your degree on two main areas to complete a double major, with the second major being in science or a different area altogether. There are pre-designed study plans to show you the way for different majors, but you can also choose variations on these. You can always get help at any stage from a course advisor or from me to work out how to fit together your path you'd like to take. Now let's hear from our course advisors in mathematics, statistics and data science. Hi, I'm Marcel Jackson, uh, Director of Research in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics and also in the School of Engineering and Mathematical Sciences. Uh, you'll see here also the name Christopher Leonard, who's a contact, he's the head of department and his um, details at the back of this little presentation. So I'm here today to talk to you about our mathematics major. And mathematics, as it has been for hundreds of years, is absolutely fundamental to a whole range of other disciplines, as well as being something that's of contemporary interest in its own right. So in many ways, our world has moved in a more and more mathematical direction, even if sometimes we don't notice it. So why study mathematics? Well, precisely for those kinds of reasons. So it's a great enabling discipline, underlies all sciences, but of course complements other things like philosophy, for example. Um, so you might find a role of mathematics if you were studying physics, which of course requires lots of mathematics, chemistry, biology, mathematical biology is a big thing nowadays. Cyber security, computing meteorology, like in the picture here. Um, infectious disease modeling, very topical, of course. Um, this is mathematics completely, it's more mathematical sciences. So match mathematics with your favorite discipline. Maybe mathematics was something you liked, but you really wanted to do computing or physics. Well, match it with mathematics to give it that special edge. Of course, maybe mathematics was your special thing and that's really what you wanted to do in which case mathematics major probably matched with something like data science major or statistics major are the kind of things you should be thinking about. So why study mathematics at the Trobe? Well, at the Trobe we have a really strong tradition of teaching in mathematics as well as having a really top research group. So all members of our department are involved in teaching from the professors to the junior members of staff. You'll be taught by them in our subjects. We have a really strong tradition of innovative teaching and the way we teach involves you doing things more than us just telling you what to do. So this is a, a long established mixing of our research expertise and our teaching expertise. So I mentioned research. We are actually a really strong research team that probably doesn't come into immediate impact when you're doing a mathematics major, but it's really good to know that you're being taught by people who, who really know their stuff. So career outcomes. Well, we've had graduates from the Trobe um, that have found career outcomes in a huge range. Um, so there are a whole lot listed here, finance, banking, data science, forensics, for example, climate change and meteorology. Meteorology is a big employer of mathematics as much as it employs that many people. Uh, modeling, mathematical modeling, uh, biological sciences, medical research, defense, defense again, a big employer of mathematicians, game design, teaching, of course, demography. So even if mathematics isn't your big thing, as I mentioned earlier, you can mix it with your neighboring disciplines like statistics or data science, physics, computer science. So maybe you were planning to get a job in the computing industry. Well, maybe doing mathematics would give you that extra edge. And it's quite uh, commonly uh, perceived that having that mathematical training gives you the, the deeper understanding of what's going on that can give you an advantage over your fellow graduates. So, Mathematics jobs always ranked really highly in uh, job surveys. Um, you'll see a couple here which, which um, give mathematics at, toward the top. Um, if it's not mathematics, it's usually something quite mathematically um, 
related, like data science, white status, statistics. So another place to look for career outcomes is, of course, the Maths Ed booklets, which is produced by La Trobe in conjunction with the Australian Mathematical Sciences Institute. So this contains a whole lot of career opportunities that may not say mathematician as a big um, sign at the top of them, but they, in the fine details, make it clear that they are interested in people who've done maths. So, thank you. Uh, there's a contact here, Dr. Christopher Leonard, who's the head of department. Hi, I'm Luke. I'm the Associate Head of School in Engineering and Mathematical Sciences. I'm also a statistician, so I've had a lot to do with the stats major over the years and very happy to be talking to you about it today. Uh, I was trying to find a quote which uh, I thought summed up um, statisticians well, and I thought this was one. Uh, statisticians are needed in essentially every field, so stats skills can open up the door to any passion. I've certainly found that true. Uh, I get to work in obesity research, uh, helping kids with disability and many other areas, uh, all because of, I'm a statistician. So why study stats? Uh, important decisions need to be made in many areas. It could be government or industry. Uh, there's a lot of this in, in medical research. Uh, the evidence required is usually in the form of data and a statistician can help work out the best way to collect that data, but also try to analyze it in a way that that um, provides the right evidence for whatever it is that you're trying to uh, look for. That's what uh, a very brief summary of statistics. A very important thing is that our statistics major is accredited. It's accredited by the Stats Society of Australia. There's only five unis with an undergraduate program accredited by the SSA and we're one of those, so we're very fortunate. Um, our students uh, can become graduate statisticians if they maintain a grade average of 65 or more. Um, the major is also very useful with other majors. So as I said, stats uh, exists in many, many disciplines. So you can do a stats major alongside other majors, say genetics as an example, and you might find, well, you will find that stats provides a very good complement um, to those other areas. It can help put you ahead of others looking for employment. Our stats research is also rated above world standard or well above world standard in the recent ratings. Uh, this shows that our statisticians have um, capability and, and they're the ones that will be teaching you statistics within the major. Career outcomes, well, there are many because statistics appears in many fields. Epidemiology, operations research, climate modeling, that's just to name a few, I could have listed heaps there. Uh, the links I have there are particularly useful. The first one's the US News and World Report jobs rankings from recently. They had stats as the number one business job and the number six job overall. Um, CareerCast was a 2018 uh, jobs rated report as well. Statistician came in at five uh, and incidentally mathematician at two and data scientist at seven and we offer majors in those as well and they can complement each other quite well. We also work with the Australian Mathematical Sciences Institute to produce maths ads. Uh, you may have seen this before, it's a collection of recent job advertisements. I do encourage you to get in and have a look because uh, it really does show the diversity of jobs available to statisticians and, and those in the mathematical sciences. I haven't got long to talk about this, but there's the structure of our major. Well, one of the ways, um, it's very important if you do choose to do the major, you seek the right advice from course coordinators and advisors, uh, just to make sure you follow the course rules and you um, choose the correct sequence of subjects. Uh, if you do want to contact me, my details are down the bottom there. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about career opportunities for statisticians and, and what's in some of our subjects. So thank you very much for your time. Welcome to the data science major at Bertrand University. Uh, my name is Christopher Leonard. I'm the head of the Department of Mathematics and Statistics here. If you really enjoyed mathematics, but you don't really see yourself as a research mathematician, or you love programming, but you don't really see yourself as a games developer, you're interested in seeing how the world ticks and what makes the world work, but you don't think you'd like to be in a laboratory as a career, then perhaps data science is for you, where it's a multidisciplinary uh, field using computing, mathematics, and uh, other areas, for example, business, uh, genetics, uh, meteorology. One of the main reasons for studying data science is, quite frankly, the jobs. Uh, the jobs are out there, uh, the earning potentials are there, uh, data scientists are in demand. I study data science. Well, the other reason is because you are interested in how the world works. Um, it's, as I said, multidisciplinary, looking at, um, you know, for example, astronomy, traffic, weather, gathering data from health records, GPS systems, 
Putting that all together requires sophisticated mathematics and also sophisticated computing. Uh, knowing how uh, computers deal with these, but program programming them and uh, the mathematics involved behind it. So if you're that sort of renaissance person who's got an interest in a broad area of the world, then data science would be for you. I study data science at Latrobe, well, precisely because our data science involves both the departments of computer science and information technology and the Department of Mathematics and Statistics combined. So we offer it as a combined um, venture between the two departments within the School of Engineering and Mathematical Sciences. And it means then that you can combine your data science major with any other um, degree or interest that you have. The other reason is that it could lead on to uh, further study. Um, so uh, we offer a master's in data science. And of course, Again, just to, to drive home the point, the outcomes are there. Um, the jobs are there. LinkedIn uh, puts it consistently in the top handful of uh, jobs in demand. So I hope to see you in data science at Latrobe University.